let's talk about how to depuff your eyes. This is a big one. I think most of us at one point or stage, <laughs> we have puffy eyes. Some of us on the regular and some of us every now and then due to specific circumstances. So some of the causations that we might have around puffy eyes could be multiple things. Sometimes we wake up in the morning and they're puffy. And this is usually due to while we're sleeping, we just pool um, more fluids into our eyes. And sometimes we have it leaning on one side of our face more than the other. And that can just says a lot about maybe what side you're sleeping on. And it could have to do with the detergents in your pillowcases. It could be the air in the evenings and at night a little bit drier in your room. So some things just to consider that you're not alone if you do wake up with the puffy eye. Um, some other culprits could be allergens. So if you do suffer from hay fever or pollen in the air, this can act as a natural irritant and then also cause some puffiness in our eyes. And not to mention the tiredness tired look that we get afterwards too that can also give more of a sallowness and more of a tired appearance. We may also get more strain in our eyes that could cause some puffiness so that would be with technology so if you do spend a lot of screen time um, this can also cause the eyes to become more tired and some puffiness can occur and you know sometimes it's just from being a little emotional. Sometimes we cry and I am definitely a victim of that. I just I'm a sucker for a sad movie um, so if you ever look over and watch Watching a sad movie, guaranteed this one's gonna have a tear or two coming down, but what happens after that is I do end up with a little bit of puffiness. So I have some really cool things, actually one simple, very fast move that you can do anytime. Um, if you're in your living room, you can do this. If it's first thing in the morning, you can do this. And it's by using this fabulous little tool, our gua sha, uh, for a couple of really good reasons. A, it's an amazing tool. You can use it in different areas on the face, but exclusively when you're working to depuff around the eye, it becomes really handy and you can make it cold. Uh, so what we do enjoy about around the eyes is we can compress any type cool over the eye area that it will really help you as well. And the second thing you're going to need is you need some slip. So you need something to be able to glide the gua sha across the eye area because it is quite delicate and we want to be sure that we're not overwhelming the tissue with a lot of tugging. So you're also going to do some support before you do your movements. And the third part uh, is what kind of product you, you actually want to be selecting. Um, definitely grab your favorite eye cream. It's perfect, especially if it's part of your everyday routine. In the morning, you can definitely do it with your eye cream. And in the evening, you can use a night cream uh, for the eyes. So for daytime, a great recommendation is our Hibiscus um, Ultra Lift Eye Cream. This is wonderful because it's great for the daytime, gives you a bit of a pick-me-up too, and a little bit of a lift, so really lovely. And it's a little bit more light weight. And as a bit of a hack, you can also double it up because you can use the roller ball to do the application of your eye cream. And then after it's gone on, then you can follow up with your gua sha. So you can do like a two in one. And then for evening, I have grabbed our lavender night eye cream. So you can pick a specific eye cream for night, something that's a little bit richer in texture because while we sleep we definitely need to add a little bit more moisture. And the third thing I wanted to just share that if you are planning to also extend your uh, gua sha to the face, uh, you can also just go ahead and use a facial oil. The only thing I do caution around is when you're using a facial oil near the eye area, please just use it along the bone and let it absorb naturally. You don't want to get it super close to that lash line. So that's probably the only one thing I want to make sure is done. So I think for the sake of today, I'm just going to get a little bit of the lavender night eye cream here, little guy. And I'm just going to put just a little bit here. I'm going to put, and you want to actually go in the same direction you want to gua sha is I go from the outside of my corner all the way in. And then you want to just grab a little bit underneath the brow bone because I want to do a full circle around and then right to the temple. So I'm just applying my eye cream first for the sake of today. Okay, once you have it on, then you're ready to use your gua sha. Everybody still has a little bit of a preference. I like to use, so if I see if I have my heart gua sha here, I like to sometimes use this last little end here for a couple of reasons. One, I can do the gua sha movement around my eye with the end, but I can also use this kind of curvature piece to actually do more of a compressed effect right directly where that puffiness might be super um, more visible and you can create a new, like a compress. 
with your gua sha. So first, always make sure you have some traction. So you don't wanna be pulling on the skin. So if you do have a little bit more of a looser tissue, you don't wanna put it too tight that it's super taut, but enough so that you have some traction. And then you're gonna take the end of your gua sha with ever so light pressure to begin, the eye area is also a bit more sensitive, so we don't wanna to cause too much pressure that it becomes sore. So gentle and across, and it's so easy. We're gonna swoop from the outside corner all the way to the end, under the brow, and then we're gonna come out the side. Because we wanna get that full effect, because that fluid's gotta go somewhere, right? So we're gonna nicely to here, and you're gonna see I'm gonna come right here, and it's, it can be like a direct shot on with your gua sha, okay? Or you can do a little bit of a 45 degree angle. But for demonstration today, so it's easier for you to see, I'm just gonna go straight on. So we're gonna look up. I'm just gently moving to here. Then under that brow, when I come to my temple, I can go under and then fully out. I told you this was gonna be easy. It doesn't take much to do a lot of work. You want to rinse and repeat. So I'm going to go under, under the brow, to my temple, down, and out. I'll do it one more time. So under here, under the brow, to the temple, under the ear, and then flesh out through the neck. So you definitely can do this three, six, nine, 12 times around the eye area until you feel satisfied. It's so easy, like I said, you can use this even when you're watching that sad movie <laughs> to catch it there. For the compress before we leave today, I wanna like give you this here. So if it's nice and cold, remember so you can keep it in the fridge, you can just compress and I just rotate. So start from the outside and just press it under. Oh. Light pressure back and again. You can easily do this. It doesn't take much time at all. And then of course, what you do to one side, make sure you do it to the other. So as a reminder, if you wanna continue the gua sha for the face and continue that beautiful treatment, I do encourage you to use a beautiful facial oil like our facial recovery oil and just press it on through the whole area of your face and down your neck. So please head over and watch the video. What I'm showing you right now, for gua sha tutorials.